Okay, guys, I'm back. I don't really have any idea what this video is going to be about. But, uh... Probably going to record as long as I can. What I might do is, uh... Um, stop when I get onto I-74 and then um, start it back up again when I get into Indianapolis. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that area. Please give me a 600 horsepower engine. <laughs> yeah, right, like that's gonna happen. All the emissions crap on these trucks nowadays. I mean, I like having clean air too, but. really adds to the expense of the truck. And it reduces the uh, fuel mileage as well. This truck's got is a uh, 2009 and it's got the uh, DPF on it. Diesel particulate filter. And the idea is that it traps, you know, when you the old trucks in the old days spewing the black smoke. It's supposed to. First of all, <laughs> I haven't really. Modern trucks haven't spewed smoke in a long time. But uh, well, they will when you first hit the throttle. But you know, if the turbo is working right and the person hasn't overfueled it for whatever reason, um, you know they really don't spew black smoke when you're under load. But anyway, I guess there's invisible diesel particulates. And supposedly it's a health hazard, causes cancer or whatever. Um, I think pretty much at this point everything causes cancer. But uh, um, the diesel particulate filter traps that stuff in some kind of a filter trap. I don't. I don't know exactly what, how it works, and then um, collects it, and then what it does is when it, when it when the filter starts to get filled up, or some preset level, it injects diesel fuel into the hot canister, it ignites and burns, it burns the uh, soot into an ash, uh, converts it into I think it's carbon dioxide, but I, I, I'm not sure, and leaves a fine ash inside the filter that eventually does need to be cleaned out. Um, the problem is that the, they call it, when, when it does that fuel injection, it's called a regen, it's a regenerating, and the trucks do it sort of whenever they need to. And when they do that, they often throw check engine lights, and they drive kind of bad, and weird things kind of happen. And there's also this button here where you're supposed to be able to do a regen. If you know you're going to be parked, you can hit that button, and it's supposed to do a regen. I've tried that for the last almost year, and I've never been able to get it to do one. Um, I was listening to uh, America's Trucking Network last night. If you guys don't haven't listened to that, you ought to. It's, uh, it's on from, um, I believe it's on from midnight to 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. Uh, it's on 700 WLW out of Cincinnati, but they are also broadcast on um, XM Satellite Radio. I don't know what channel it is, though. I'm sorry. you have to look it up. But uh, if you have an Android phone or uh, 
or iPhone, you can also you can go to iHeartRadio uh, is a is an app. iHeartRadio, download that app, and uh, you can listen to 700 WW on your phone through iHeartRadio. Um, it iHeart sucks if you're traveling. I've tried it, and the uh, it, it does a terrible job of buffering. It, it's really not a good app, but if you're just static, if you're just sitting at your desk or in a city and you're not really moving around much across the country, um, it works pretty good. But it doesn't work as you drive across country. I, I don't know why. It, it's constantly rebuffering, and anyway, the app's not very good for truckers. But um, Talking about the diesel particulate filters, um, they were talking on ATM. They, they had a, a company on that makes these things a particular type, and their recommendation is to have the filter vacuumed or cleaned or whatever, you know, every 150 to 200 thousand miles, depending on the make and model. And uh, if you wait too long, the filter will crack you'll get a split in it, and then you got to buy a new one. And uh, they run, depending on the make and model, they run between $2,000 and $8,000 U.S. dollars um, to replace that DPS. You know, just what truck drivers need every 200,000 miles, you know. Because what happens is these things aren't working right. That's the problem. People are having a lot of trouble with these things. Um, because nobody explains to the driver how it's supposed to work and what they're supposed to do. And they're, very, they're not intuitive. I mean, the only way I, I know it's doing a regen is the truck starts driving like crap and the check engine light comes on. Well, that doesn't fucking tell me anything. You know, I mean, it's, it's really pretty stupid. Um the way that they do these things. I mean, if your truck needs to do a regen, you know, a special light should come on saying, you know, regen is pending, truck may start to behave funny, perhaps you should pull over, or, you know, something, so that you know what the hell is going on. What ends up happening is the truck starts to do a regen, starts driving badly, and a lot of guys, they pull off the side of the road, turn the truck off, let it sit for five, ten minutes, start it back up, and they they prevent the truck from doing its proper regen, and then eventually the filter is destroyed, and then they're stuck with a, you know, two to eight thousand dollar bill, or the company is. So anyway, that's, uh, that was the 2010 standard, um, I'm sorry, 2007 standard, was, uh, the, the, uh, DPF filters. The 2010 or maybe it's 2011, I'm not sure, standard, is to add this, um, uh, DEF, uh, diesel exhaust fluid, and, um, you'll see it at truck stops, blue depth, something depth, and what they do, it, it's a urea-based compound, and they inject that after the particulate filter. And what it's supposed to do is mix with the nitrous oxides that are left in the exhaust, which cause smog and other things, um, and convert it to water. So the 2010 engines, um, 2010, 2011, whatever the, whichever, whichever it is, um, it's it's kind of funny because the the the, the kind of joke is that with the particulate filter, if if it's working correctly, with the particulate filter and the diesel exhaust fluid injection, the exhaust coming out of a new diesel engine is actually cleaner than the air going in. That's what that's what the guy said on on the on the show. The guy that makes these filters. 
uh, his company makes these filters that the air coming out of the engine is cleaner than the air going in at this point. Now, there's going to be another standard come out. I, I don't know what the timeline is. They really aren't going to add any more pollution standard stuff, but they are going to go after fuel mileage. Well, the only way I can see that they're going to do that is by reducing the power. Um, and I, I, I don't, I don't really know how that'll work because the um, oh, my time is almost up here. Actually, I'm going to pause for a minute because the way station's up here. Uh, probably not a great idea to be going into the way station with a camera on my head. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Bye.